Well, this is an unusual hotel, and it's been extremely uh, successful over the over the mm -hmm. what seven years now. It's uh, six years. Six, six years. years in March. Yeah, that's pretty good going. Absolutely. Yeah. How many rooms? It's fifty nine in total. Okay. Fifty nine over four floors. And now you have a real restaurant of note here. Absolutely, that we're very proud of indeed. Uh, it's a great uh, uh, chemistry. Mark Sainsbury, Zeta Hotel, and um, Bruno Lube. What a wonderful combination. Yeah, gosh, we feel very, very lucky. It's been a, it's a, been a great start. We, um, we could not have dreamt of the kind of reception that he's got. Um, we couldn't have wished for any better, I have to say. We feel, yeah, we feel very lucky. Bruno, welcome back. It's fantastic to have you back in this country. Um, Australia was a, 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 how many years? And nearly eight years. Is it really? As long as that? Yes. Oh you yeah. look younger since you've come back. Well, good sun, you know, <laughs> swimming every day, <laughs> jogging. Yeah. Is it good to be back in London? Yes, it's, it's really good. I mean, it's, uh, for, for me to be, uh, to be back and, uh, you know, starting, you know, this restaurant and uh, you know, it's a bit uh, overwhelming even the response, you know, because sure. we, uh, we've been uh, successful from day one and uh, very well received and everything. So it's good, you know, when, thing, when things are working well, Everything is good. Well, it's a, it's a busy place here. How many covers uh, do you have here? Well, we're doing up to 200 covers a day. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's yeah. really good. And that's lunch and, and, and dinner? Lunch and dinner, yes. Yeah. We, do, we also have the hotel, so obviously we do the breakfast. Sure. Uh, but between lunch and dinner, we're doing up to 200. Yeah. Well, Very it's good. lovely to see your menu. and. Uh, some of the uh, old favourites on here and some new things. Did you get some inspiration yes. from uh, from Australia with different types of things? Uh, yes, but that's coming later because actually um, the way I take it here when I when I open up, well, you know, it would be a, a good idea to come back to the um, to what people know me for, sure. you know, and sure. uh, and why, you know, I always say to the guys in the kitchen, never forget why you've been successful or why you are successful, you know? and uh, you know, and, and you have to respect that. So. For me, uh, coming back from Australia, I said, well, if I start to do something too different, then people will say, oh, Bruno, I've changed, it's different. Maybe perceive in a, in a good way and say, oh, that's fantastic, it's new and everything. Sure. But at the same time, I said, well, you know, maybe it would be um, better to, uh, to, you know, have a, a few step backs and uh, come back to the basic. And also, I saw that, you know, obviously, I look and I research a bit of what was happening in London, and I realized that uh, everybody doing simpler things, we're doing better than complicated. Sure. So I thought, well, you know, why not coming back to what I used to do anyway, many years ago, and uh, get the respect again, and from there, you know, move in the direction I want to move. When it's out, I think people like security, sure. you know, it's security. Sure. And, uh, and if you go in a restaurant where you have some classics, and, uh, you know, you know, you recognize the name, you have them before maybe, and, uh, and you order them and they happen to be very good and tasty test, and remind you the whole time, the good time and everything. <laughs> I think it, it, it's good, you know, it's a bit of a reentrance. And um, so that's why I, I, I do these dishes, but obviously, you know, I, I may do the sauce a bit lighter now than yeah. I used to do 10 years ago. Well, he's a very nice man, isn't he, as well as being a good chef? What a charmer. Honestly, I, I, I mean, it's one thing being a great chef. It's, it's quite an, another to be as charming and funny and lighthearted as he has. Sharing menu, tell me about that. Sharing menu, that's uh, something I've done in Australia uh, because um, uh, what's happened is uh, in Australia, the month of January is really, really quiet. Most restaurants lose money in January. And, um, and I come up with the idea of doing a, a super deal and, uh, and to bring uh, new people in the restaurant instead of having uh, you know, people going out and making an event out of it, to bring some maybe um, uh, young people who don't really go in these kind of restaurants and uh, uh, you know, just just have a, a new new blood coming in and um, and giving giving a, an opportunity to taste the food without spending much money. Right. But at the same time, if you're supposed to have a month, a very bad month, and if you have to have a bomb on seat, I would say, and and they happen to have a glass of wine or a bottle of wine, uh, coffees and etc. bit and pieces, uh, at the end of the day, you still have an income, and and that's helped to pay the bill, as we know. You know, <laughs> and income pay the bills. Just talking about the wine list in the way it's been approached. What are your feelings towards this? Well, I do think uh, it is uh, it is still in progress. That's something you know we are looking at. We are developing uh, in uh, 
you know, slow motion, if I may say. You know, we're now looking at testing the wines and transforming the wines from the ones for the, for the summer coming. So it's progressive. It's progressive, yeah. totally. But, but the idea at the beginning was, uh, you know, when, when we started talking about it was, you know, we need a lot of regional wine, uh, uh, you know, uh, Good, good the regional wine because like my food you know it's all uh, truth you know it's not uh, grand grand stuff and everything it's, it's all good flavors and simple and everything so the wine uh, you know we try to reflect this but as we know a, a wine list uh, unless you have millions for it you know, and, and a lot of time um, it, it's a, as Edgar said it's a work in progress and we have to uh, manage to find what fits what we're doing and what people want in, in that restaurant and what we are here with so it's you know, we take a few months. Any particular region you follow? Languedoc, southwest. Languedoc. Languedoc, yes. Yeah. Southwest yeah. of France. We do have, you know, a few Australians as well. We do have, we're, we're going on, on uh, well-structured wines. Okay. Uh, where there is a little bit of body, a little bit of healthy, you know, uh, slightly as well uh, uh, herbaceous, yeah. uh, just to to make sure that we're trying to, to adapt the wine list with, uh, with Buenos food. Well, rave reviews from everyone, I think, which is wonderful because uh, his reputation before he went to Australia was uh, was was one of excellence. Yeah, and it's so nice to see him welcome back in such a way. I know. I think I think that I mean he holds a very special place in a lot of the critics' heart. I think, yeah. but I mean equally, it was it wasn't it wasn't a guaranteed kind of welcome back. And you know, there was an easy there was an easy story to write that London's moved on and he hasn't. But Absolutely, actually, quite the opposite. I mean, it's one it's great. And I think I mean what's nice is that he, that he you know although he's been away for a while. That coming, you know, Clark and Well made sense to him that he was, you know, I, I love the idea that he didn't go somewhere, you know, posh and west. Sure. But he actually, you know, he, he was close enough to the ground to realise that Clark and Well's the place to be. Well, Clark and Well's come of age, isn't it? It's a wonderful place. I mean, I love, I, there's so many kind of contradictions and, and interesting combinations, the old and the new, the kind of wonderful history of the place, but and, and then cutting edge design agencies as well. Um, and, and, and the kind of, the creative types you have. In this area, I think make it a you know really interesting place to work and, and have a business.